Democracy in the modern world today is the most radical political philosophy, most violent. But the fact of the matter is, since Second World War, the democratic countries have killed over 100 million people in various wars fought globally all over the world. Let's go back into history and see when Islam was a political force, how did they behave? In Andalusia, in Spain, Islam ruled for 800 years. The most tolerant, most brilliant, most innovative, progressive, dynamic, scientific civilization humanity has ever seen. But no reference is made to the most glorious and brilliant civilizations which showed the light to humanity for hundreds of years. 9-11 has been the most debated issue globally. The media talks about twin towers falling down and nobody talks about a third World Trade Center building, WTC7 also, being brought down in a controlled demolition the next day. And the fact of the matter is they have declared a war on a country, annihilated it. Just like on the perception of weapons of mass destruction that destroyed Iraq completely. And later on, the world realized that there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. It was only a propaganda ploy. But now, they want to break Pakistan like they broke Yugoslavia. But the problem is that Pakistan is no Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was not a nuclear power state. Pakistan is a nuclear power state. And secondly, the NATO supply lines go through Pakistan. If the NATO supply line is stopped, the Americans in Afghanistan will be trapped like rats in cages. Pakistanis have the will, potential, resource and the emotions to do with the Americans what we did to the Soviets. We are a Muslim nation, nuclear powered, 170 million. We are not Iraq, we are not Afghanistan. We are ruthless and we fight back. But we want to live with dignity. But when the time comes, we'll die with honor. That Americans should understand.